I wouldn't say I'm a big reader. Like, I'll reread a lot of books. If it's, that's my only choice, I will read instead of doing nothing. Buy physical books. <laughs> I read all during the day. I think I want to read less because the only books I'm being offered now are really long, boring novels. I, like with books, I either get hooked or like I don't, I just kind of like get like super bored out of my mind with books. I just like the, like the comic parts better than actually like the whole pages of words. Like it's a kid's book and I understand it more than like a novel novel. <laughs> I pick Word Nerd by Susan Nielsen and because um, it's about a boy named Ambrose and I feel like we have like similarities. For instance, we both like Scrabble and he, um, is, he got bullied and stuff like I was too when I was like in grade two. but. It took my class a long time to read because we had like English periods, but it's pretty short if you read it on your own. It was pretty funny, but it was serious at some point. And I enjoyed it a lot. And like, um, Word Nerd is, I don't know, it's just really good. I don't know how to explain it. I'm recommending The Wild Robot and I like it because it shows that there's kind of a connection between everyone because there's because the robot is connected to technology and then the robot connects to all these animals and all the nature that's around it. And I think that sh I think that shows that like anyone could really connect with animals really. Like it kind of shows a bit how humans are affecting, wildlife in it. Yeah, I was hooked. And the only reason it took me two days to read it because it was 11 at night and I should have been going to bed. Hopefully my mom's not in the room. <laughs> this is the first book of the first series. Basically throughout the, the entire series, there's this one main cat and it's the main character in the first six books. He is um, a house pet, and he one day decides to roam around in the wild, and then his entire life changes. I read 33 of the books. It really never did get that old. I thought every book was different, and you really wouldn't expect it that much. And I thought it was always cool. It's basically human life mimicked in an old time, except cats, cats. Uh, I would recommend um, Brave. It's a really good book, all about standing up to bullies and helping other people and treating people the way you want to be treated. It's a graphic novel and it's really good for kids anywhere from like eight to 15. It's kind of like a comic book, but a bit more advanced. The book's kind of all about uh, Jensen Graham. He goes to middle school and he gets made fun of a lot, but he has a couple of really good friends that are always backing him up. Uh, I picked it because it's my favorite book. Uh, I've read it a lot and I've read it like multiple times, like five times. And um, I think the message is really good. It's called Dogman and Leech. I have like 12 of the, uh, of the books. And this is the second one out of all the series. It's, it's basically my favorite one out of all of them. The main character is Dogman, this dude. And the series is really about dog. Petey's just escaping and having new evil plots and Dogman's always going after him and capturing him. There's a lot of action and a lot of things going on at once. And the best part about this book is when you go to the back, drawing. 
Uh, me and my dad go camping a lot. My mom's too scared to because there are snakes in the forest, apparently. And uh, I read a lot when we go camping. Yeah, I think that you should read. Like, it's 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 good because it kind of, especially like before bed, because it really settles your mind down. Just pick I up the book and then read it.